Through these trees in Licking County. Obviously, with, with any plane crash uh, is involving trees, um, there is a wide area of debris. Parts of a plane are scattered. Every piece of that's important to an investigation, so we want to make sure that we're identifying all of that, make sure that we're getting accurate measurements on it, uh, and also just making sure that we're doing our best to understand what went on with this crash. The plane hit the woods shortly after 1.30 Tuesday afternoon, skidding across Linville Road. Its pilot, 74-year-old Paul Brown from Zanesville, was the only one inside. Zane State College posted on Facebook saying he was the fifth president of the college from 2004 to 2015. They say through his vision of what this community could be and his belief in shaping a better future, he touched so many lives throughout southeastern Ohio. The plane was at Newark Heath Airport. Uh, it took off and about one minute later uh, crashed here. Ohio State Highway Patrol says the Federal Aviation Administration is investigating what caused the single engine Cessna to crash. We're still trying to identify witnesses, someone who may have seen the crash. Olivia Eugenio, 10 TV News. Now, based on the tail number of that plane, it was out of Wilmington, Delaware, and is registered to a company called Wing and a Prayer LLC.